Hey guys, welcome back to Battleground Outdoors. Today we're going to be introducing a new product called our Camera Mods or CAM for short. These are built for our mobile hunters who are self filming out in the wild. These are an excellent addition to your mobile hunting rig. They are lightweight, they come in three different options. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about them. Vital. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, so earlier today, we had some storms coming through uh, through, and uh, while I was filming, so I had to hightail it out of here back this afternoon to try to get this done. Um, let's go over. We have three options available for these camera mod straps. Um, the first option is this figure nine on a continuous loop, you'll see very very strong um, it is said to be rated at 50 pounds it will hold more but um, manufacturer says 50 pounds so that's the one option here this little kicker piece right here and that comes with a long strap that'll go around the tree the next option we have and other part of the system is so we're gonna have for the non figure nines we're gonna have just these continuous loops here with these castration bands which is gonna add a little cinch to it a little buffer um, in in lieu and you'll girth hitch this on to one side as well the other options we have are these night eyes uh, cam buckles they basically pull the rope through it cinches it's got a camming locking action to prevent the rope from sliding back through I have a plasticky one here um, which is not rated by the manufacturer, but it is being used on the market for bow hangers, gear hooks, that kind of thing. So it will hold your rig. Um, it is not made for climbing. So if you are concerned about the plastic or the figure nine, we have that premium version with the all aluminum cam jam. So same thing as the plastic version, except it's, it's aluminum and has a 280 pound working load. Um, I say premium because these cost a little bit more to to get um, again the system's the same um, and uh, yeah it's a very nice carabiner um, nice little device here and those will all clip into that other piece that you're girth that you're around give me a second I'm gonna get situated and we'll get over on the tree show you how to hook these things up and get you out into the woods all right stay tuned all right guys so we're gonna start with the figure nine attachment basically gonna form a loop in that um, small continuous piece with the nine on it I'm gonna pull it nice and tight and you can run the castration band back down um, you don't need the castration band so if you don't like it you can always take it off then you're gonna take your strap and I've already started it where I formed a big well you don't need it this big but you form a loop into it just like so through that little thing Put that right around the Versa button like such, and you pull it tight. Now on camera arms that don't have a Versa button like this pocket arm here, uh, you can use the strap slots. These will fit through all the strap slots on all the camera arms, and um, you just do girth hitch it the same way. Now from there, on the, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the tree. I'm going to start with my arm kind of angled up. Um, Specifically on this one, I'm going to angle it up on here. Um, just basically, so that bubble is right above center, right outside the black uh, center level. There, I'm going to throw this around the tree, like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this figure nine, and it's labeled one, two, and three. The one spot is attached to your arm already. You're going to slide this in through the bottom on the number two. You're going to come and you're going to pull it up. And you're going to pull it up nice and tight. Okay? From there, you'll see once I pull it up, if I just kind of torque it a little bit, you'll get a little torque on that and it'll turn outward. Or you could turn it with your hand. But you're going to come over the top and down through the teeth section to lock it in. 
Now, from there, you're good to go. You can let go of your arm, it's not gonna go anywhere. Now, to level it, all I'm gonna do is make sure that that bubble is in the center, right above the black line, and I'm gonna go ahead and just start screwing it down to take more tension or place more tension on that spot, just like so. And once it's nice and level, which there's a lot of screwing involved screwing this in, but as you can see right now, all right, I am level. My bubble is in the center and this arm is not going anywhere. It is stuck tight to the tree and you are ready to hook up and film. Now, if you are concerned about the excess, you can always wrap it up with the bungee. You can throw it around the tree. Um, if you do decide to put a half hitch in here to kind of like add in security, I would be cautious not to pull this back. These teeth have got it locked in, but you know, if you put a little bit too much force on there, you could, um, you could accidentally pull it out and you don't want your camera plummeting to the ground. So what I would do is I'd come around the tree, if you can, and I would just use the bungee, secure it up, get it out of your way. That's gonna hold. So I will get repositioned here and we will set up with the cam jam system. All right guys, so now we're gonna utilize the, the, cam, buck, uh, the cam jam for this system. I've already hooked it up the same way. I've got it girth hitched on one side and girth hitch going out the other side. Basically, bring it around the tree like so. You're gonna take the cam jam carabiner and clip it into that loop like such, and you're gonna just pull it tight, getting your camera arm to where you, you want it positioned. Now again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kinda of leave this above center a little bit to start, and then from there, I'm gonna let go a little bit. Okay, and I'll position it to where it's above center. Give it a little tug again if you want. Then from there, all we're gonna do is screw this sucker down nice and tight. And once we get it locked into place, it should be good to go. And that is also not going anywhere. Now, that's with that cam jam. You can always give it a little bit of tug going back. If you need to tighten it up a little bit, it shouldn't creep on you. This should lock in nice and tight. But again, um, it'll be pretty secure. It's got a self-locking mechanism right there. And again, with the tailpiece, you can bring it around to however you want to take up the excess slack that you encourage you get from this and then you're off to the races you can film so with the um, other cam jam that's all aluminum the process would be the same um, so we won't go over that but those are those three options available to you and then just to remove you just un unhook there and then I would just kind of bring it back a little bit so you add a little slack in it to kind of take it off the hook and then you can go ahead and pull it back through to keep it locked in tight. Now for storage, it's completely up to you, but you can wrap this any which way you want. It's very light, it's very versatile. Um, and then you'll have a locking bungee. I'm just gonna wrap this up for ease right now. But then you have that bungee that you can kind of twist around and your camera arm is going to be set, ready to go for transport. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in for our CAM strap, our cam strap mods for camera arms. The rain is about to pour down, so I appreciate your time watching. If you can, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, show some love and head over to vitalgroundoutdoors.com. Get yours today. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.
vital.